Greetings and salutations everyone. Welcome back to more Ox Must Die. Previously, I did horribly a chaos chamber. I got one skull. So this episode, we're going to go for choke point and hope it goes better. We're just giving us a fantastic item now. The Flame Rithers. As you can see, there's three doors. They're all marked. They're not hiding now. Which... The way flame voices work, you throw fireballs to groups of enemies and set them all on fire. It's fantastic. Yeah, that's for the setup we want on this stage. Obviously, well, as you can see, push traps are not going to be a big help to us. How am I doing that? Shit. I'm pressing shift and then W, and that's opening frame. Shift Q? No. For some reason, no, Steam, Steam is just opening the tab. I don't know why. I'm not even hitting tabs, so I don't know what that is. We also unlocked Reeves in the previous episode, completely forgot to mention that. Now, so what we want to do... We want... Spikes, Tars, Barricades, Archers... I think Flinners. That's probably what we went with Steel Weaver that last time, which. Let me see. stun area, frost, duration, crossbow blaze, I've grown We're going to go with the Knowledge Weaver. The way we want this to work is if one spell kills gets 100% more coins. We're going to go for spell anatomy. We serve the order. And if we were to grab all these three, Fight well, right away, this makes it so a headshot deals more damage, a headshot kill, kill, headshot kills increase accuracy, which is all right. But it's the spell kills earn us more coins. Do we want and with sentience is always a good Stand thing. strong. We of course only have one whiff to defend in this stage, and as you can see now it's got some lightning glowing about it. Basically the goal of this stage is to make sure enemies go down one specific path and then just start getting zapped. And the way I want them to go is down this corridor, I believe. Yeah, so we're gonna be blocking off this corridor. And then these two, and then enemies are gonna go down this way. So it's gonna be a bit of a, of a doozy. My recommendation is just get your barricades set up right away. And we're gonna be focusing on our flame braces. Right click, and you can see, increase the little wall. A wall of fire that just makes enemies want to it. Burn. If you couldn't guess, they will burn, burn, burn. But that's where this we the weavers we have comes in place. So as you can see now, our coin has shot up. Now that we have flame braces, we have no need to pick any of our weavers. How about some of this? And that is honestly a complete truth. Because all we have to do is set up some fire right at the beginning. If we start off with a firewall there. What a mess. Firewall here. And the enemies are just gonna produce coins for us. Honestly, all we have to do now is set up the thing. We just need to set up a funnel where enemies are going to just set themselves on fire for no good reason. Well, it's a good reason for me. A treat for you. But now 
Step right this way, Mr. Orc. Again, this barricade setup, we've already got a setup where enemies are gonna set themselves on fire for actually no reason. All we have to do is give them time to come over here. Can I get and three, two, one, boop. Of course, calm down with your head and you're well to just literally sit back and enjoy. Now the left click of the fire breeze is a pretty good fireball. I recommend it a little bit. You know, if you need to clear out a good amount of enemies. It's always a good thing. This will be fun. And do this, 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 this. this. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. And honestly, at this point, we are ready to set up our archers. Because we will still have some other stuff. And you can upgrade your weavers as well if you want. Like, sometimes you can get some dead orcs back. And we're at a point this where we help. could actually reset the weavers and get all of our gold back. But I think you only get half back. But that's always bad enough. Isn't it? And here we go. Get this like set up. And we just wait. We have no flying enemies, so flame braces aren't gonna like that's where the flame braces struggle. To be honest, it's just when you have flying enemies because the range is a bit shorter than you expect. Like if I am over there. Oh, it's actually better than I expected. It's decent range. We'll go with that. Where it really lies in the strength is that flame though. It can make it so you gain mana back as well, it's just fantastic. Except that flame wall that it may start getting through, but at this point, it's not even a concern. But that's when the replay value comes in. The flame braces are basically what I consider the next essential. I want to say final essential, but eh, anything could be essential in this game. And nobody gets hurt. No, I don't. And this entire part is now set up because no enemies are going to go. All we have to do is place some traps down that way. Set up a good funnel system and we're sorted. Let's set him on fire. And firewall. But yeah, during the previous stage, the they would actually be perfect, the flame braces. So I kind of want to go back with the flame braces and show how good they could be. But I'm not going to. Flame braces are practically my favorite weapon. but well, they are my favorite weapon in the game. I don't know why I call them my practical favorite weapon because they just are my favorite weapon. Probably the best weapon in this entire game and the rest of the series. They'll like this one. Alright, get some of all these barriers set up. This'll hurt. Do this and then this. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. No way. Other way around. Then Yeah, we need some archers. So you can see they're making this stage a joke. Because they're the first time using these buttons, so they have to make the stage a bit easy, but you guys see what I mean by making it a complete and utter joke? Like the right click is just that good. You don't even really need tar traps, but tar traps are just that good. With the uh, flame braces. Now there is another weapon you can get later on. 
A spoiled man moves it as a fast weapon, which is pretty good. I place that wall a bit stupidly. That's okay, even a stupidly placed flame wall is a good one. Okay, like go, just get a bunch of guardians right there. We literally have a point in the game where we can just press right click and sit still. Am I going to? No. I'm gonna play for this. The flame braces make the entire. I can speed up previous missions, but like, is at this point where you can go back to stage you struggle with and probably get him with a perfect five skulls and do some upgrades. Look at that! A thousand coins just from a couple of regular guy kills. Of course, you can shoot them, get some headshots, get some more points. I do recommend doing that. Do we completely real of you? Right, so the way I want to cover the rift now Ooh, is just to do that, I think. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so it's going to take a long route over to get to the rift now. They're just going to be here constantly. Because they are trying to break through now, but they're not going to. I have been trying to upgrade Reavers now. Here we go, that's clear already. Oh my god, that, many, that was 12 minutes. I kind of want revenge now. Let's go to the campaign menu. And I think I'm going to go back to Chaos Chamber for this one. Yeah, we're going to try it. We're going to try and do this mission now, but we'll see. Uh -huh. Skip, skip, skip. I've made contact blah, blah, blah. with the Order's Weavers on the far side of the rift. The Weavers have read all the old books. They should be able to hook me up with magic goodies. This is the assumption I will go with. This is how I want to handle this. Well, quite simple, really. We don't have to do the same step as last time, but we're going to. Want this here, it. this here. A trap. <laughs> Actually, what am I doing? I need to work under the assumption hey, I'm using these weavers first. Knowledge is power. Stand strong. Right, so we don't have any gold for the starters, but it doesn't be great. Yeah, that was done instantly. On aisle three. Okay, we're gonna have to kill sword just committed themselves. Uh, five. Which this won't hurt. This. Now I need to one to the other door. Which is alright, we're gonna have orcs target me specifically. Good time. How are you doing now? You can see this is gonna be fantastic. I 
flame braces make this stage a pretty good as well. Like, if you do play on the game from normal, from the very beginning, yeah, a good thing for you to do is literally just to not get five stars at every stage and just get flame braces like that. So let us go down here and we're going to just get this bottom path sorted first. Yes. He's dead. And he's not going to give us any money. So we're gonna go for the strategy I had last time, but this this time we're gonna sort. Oh, we can't fix it because I've already messed it up. Ah, that's really nice. Well, that's okay. Oh. Alright though, because with lightning we'll be doing some decent work. Down here, I want to flame trap there, followed by this. this flame trap hurt. there, that's there. Let them sort themselves out. Seven here, seven here. Traps are just so cool. I'm doing good. And yeah, it's just a complete cobalt wave. All right, I'm gonna do this. Okay, things all good. I need to run and run, 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 run. Get to on, get to the no water on this side. That seems all good. That's how it's done. <sighs> and yeah, we're going to keep this side completely and utterly covered. I think we're at the point where we don't really need to worry. Is there something else we could get? Trap kills can regain us mana. Alongside that. 
Be careful out there. And now we can start focusing on this part, <laughs> which is a bad I mean, one to act. That's completely fine because, well, I mean, luck. You can see exactly what's going to happen on this side now. A treat for you. Good times. By the way, Danny, it doesn't look like yeah, they're not breaking through too much. That was fun! Oh, and this, and this, this. We'll keep those traps powered up just like that. Go through just a tiny bit. There we go. Just, they're just gonna go through the walls. Like, let's be real. Here comes some more, which I want to get play wall set up to take care of that. I need to get up here now because this part's not as covered. But I could probably leave the downstairs part completely. And only like unsupervised, that'll be completely fine. Down here. Anyone game for it? Does not look like it, and yeah, they were not. Down That's gonna here. Leave a mark. Follow that up with this. It should be alright. But yes, I did try some from Whiskey there. You can just jump down like that. No, I recommend it. Honestly, no, there's a portal you can use. Start running for the whip because the other one's probably gonna get pretty close good to times, it. Good times. Stop oh, I got him. After this one, the supervisor now. You guys can see how that works. We already did the stage in the previous episode. So, see, next time. I think it was choke pointing dead. Yeah, it was choke pointing dead. So next time we are going to go to the arena, which I think is a pretty tough stage. But I'll see you guys for that.